Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and I have been making sure to do some more testing for my, for my sound settings because I want everything to come out just right. So <clears throat> I added a compressor using the using the settings that I was shared in my Discord server and I'm <clears throat> I also adjusted the volume for my microphone, changed its gain, and <clears throat> and upped the upped the microphone sensitivity just a little bit. So I'm hoping that these changes work out well. If not, then you know, let me know and I can tweak them further. From what I'm getting on my playback, it sounds good. But that doesn't mean that I'm the ultimate arbiter of what's right. You guys are the ones that ultimately are listening to this a little bit more than I am. <sighs> so, what's the plan for today? Well, I kind of want to do a little airborne slamming, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to... Let's see, how best to stall out our enemy? Make it so that make it so that they're easy picking for a big jump. Well, the best way to do it would either be with twin turbines or spark array. But is that what I want to use? Maybe I want to try something different. Let's try something different. Let's try using spiral rumblers. What's the worst that can happen? I lose? Oh no. How dare things not go according to plan and be more difficult than I thought they would be. But, let's see, is that what I want to use? Um, I don't really have a strong feeling or another on any particular... any particular basic arcana, so we'll go with that. And I think instead of a instead of hope, I'm gonna go with rule. Since we are going with a more power-focused build. Which means that I should probably change it up to either the bunny, since we are focusing on a jump, or go with something that'll affect everything. You know, like Merchant's cart. And then the whole idea is going to be to try to stack as many things together as possible. <clears throat> Alright, that works. So, I am keeping a close eye on my microphone settings, as you can tell by me just ramming myself into a wall. There are times in which I'm noticing things getting a little out of hand on the mic side, but I'm hoping that the compressor is doing its job and making sure that I'm not completely peaking. Uh, yeah, I didn't even need to choose to go to Atlas first. The game was just like, hey, how about we take you to Atlas first? Hey, forget about it. I don't know. I don't know why the game is stereotypically Italian, but we're, we're going with that. Alright, well obviously Spiral Rumblers isn't exactly a great pick for <clears throat> for straight up power, but it does seem to do do a good job at keeping enemies locked down with multiple instances of hit stun, which is kinda what I was looking for. This is one of those times where I'm trying out an arcana, you know, for the first time in a while. Ow. <clears throat> Because last time I tried it, I was looking at it from a straight-up damage standpoint, and that might have been the wrong way to look at it. Hey, 
if I look at it as more of a control method, it's not doing a bad job. Ooh, what do I want? Do I want glass cannon? Do I want the luxury handbag? I just can't decide. I think... Well, thank, thank, first things first, grab spiral rumblers. Hmm. Safer option? Take a risk. Safer option? Take a risk. Safer option? Take a risk. Taking a risk. Plus, it's give, plus it offers an overall greater power benefit of 20% versus the luxury handbag's 15. And Spiral Rumblers... Drills gain an explosive finale! You know, maybe it's just that I hit peak maturity at age 12, but that to me is just really funny. Hey, you got anything I want? Yes, you do. And we will start worrying about other arcana next floor. Oh, go, oh, Jeebus. God damn. Eh. Eh. Alright, that was you know. You didn't you didn't get to hear me make my full on goat sounds, but it was you know, I embarrassed myself anyway, and I hope you're happy with that. We're just going to move on. So, to catch you guys up to speed on some of what's been going on, I'm... <clears throat> I don't even want that. I never give it... I'm still working on... On the first video in my How to Build series, I've been kind of—I had kind of slowed down on it because, you know, work work schedule and just other personal events coming up. It's going a little slower than I would like, but that is also just part and parcel with the idea that life has just been a little a little busy lately. But it is still it is still coming along. I'm excited to share it with you guys. Uh, well, we definitely upgrade this. You know, this particular thing is. <laughs> This particular video series isn't being blocked by my anxiety or anything, I'm just, you know, it's just taking a while. I apologize for that, because I know I recently had questions about, about what I should be doing with another, with another series of builds that I was talking about, and I, I think I am going to go along with that, and if I want to do any art for it, I should probably just do it after getting the actual content out. <clears throat> and I know that sounds like just a no-brainer thing. Like, well, no kidding, Dark Sage. What the hell? What the hell's taking you so long to come to that conclusion? And you know what's taking me so long to come to that conclusion? Is that I is that my anxiety keeps telling me that what I'm doing is wrong. It's like to put it in the easiest way possible, it's like having imposter syndrome 24 hours a day. And that's kind of the easy, kind way of putting it. Oh hello. I don't really want that. Uh 
Oh, hello. It's just an easy, quick boost to damage and armor, and I love it. In case, in case you don't know what imposter syndrome is, which I'm not saying this because I think anyone is dumb, by the way. This is legitimately, I get the feeling that there are plenty of people out there that don't know what it is. Which, you know, that's very possible because you might not have to put up with the same problems in your life. And trust me, if that's the case, I envy you. Grab. It's basically like, like, I'm not even suggesting that I'm successful, but it's like when successful people say, I don't deserve this, I'm not that good. It's basically thinking that you're doing something wrong when you're not doing anything wrong. Now, multiply that by a few times and... And, and instead of just saying, you know, this, like, say, my, my channel, my builds, you know, just the things that I enjoy doing, expand that out to everything, like, what am I doing, I don't feel like I belong here, I don't feel like I should exist, and then you've got basically where I'm at. I say that partially jokingly, but no, it's, it, it's no laughing matter. And no, this isn't necessarily going to be one of my mental health focused episodes, because I'm sure some of you get annoyed with that. I'm just putting it into perspective that that's kind of what I've been dealing with. As a matter of fact, I had a really big anxiety spike on, on Thursday after my doctor's appointment. Why after my doctor's appointment? I don't know, because my brain hates me. Because it's not like anything was said during my doctor's appointment that was necessarily either in error or not helpful. It was just some culmination of events just started making me feel awful and like I had done something, or more to the point, everything wrong. And yeah, that's, that's at least in part why why my How to Build project is going slowly. So, my apologies for it taking so long to come to fruition. But I am working on it, and trust me, I do, en I do enjoy the idea that I've got this project coming along, because I know many of you have asked me or at least a few of you have asked me how I put my builds together, what considerations I use, what arcanas, or even more to the point, what relics. Because which arcana I use are pretty obvious. Hmm, there's so many things here that I like. But I already have two Earth-based Arcana that I think are going to work just fine for the twins. So I think I'm actually going to grab Engulfing Fissure, as odd as that sounds. Because the way it works now, it makes me think it makes me think of Arc Sphere, and I love Arc Sphere. That was not smart. I hit the wrong button. Okay, everything is going wrong. Hmm, maybe Engulfing Fissure is the wrong choice. But I have it now, so let's make the best of it. Oh, I also just noticed that I forgot to change the soundtrack, so oops. I guess we're doing piano twice in a row today. Uh, 
Yeah! Alright, back to the boss room. We are going to grab this. Because it has a stack. Putting together the hunter satchel would definitely be pretty, pretty high tier, but since I am running the merchant's cart, anything that I can grab that has a stack would be nice. Um, oh, here we go. Here's something I don't mind grabbing. I don't think this counts as melee. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure Bolt Rail doesn't count as anything. Oh hey, there's an upgrade. But I'm gonna wait, see if Dr. Song shows up. If she does, then I will donate this to her and then go grab the upgrade. That time, the fissure worked out just fine. Give you this, you look thirsty. <sighs> they look thirsty, then how about we give them something to drink? First 300 reference in a while, hope you like that. Now I just need to find a way to work in the Tonight We Dine in Hell line, and we've got. You've got the makings of a of a wonderful 300 reference, you know, bingo. All right, I need to go back to the general. I need to go back to the general store. Make sure that there are no other relics I want to purchase. This. Actually enhances the power of two of my Arcana, so I'm grabbing it. And will also enhance Obsidian Cascade. Hey, the opening of that fight didn't go anywhere near how I expected it would. Then I got better. A newt. All better. All right, check one off for Monty Python and the Holy Grail. How many? How many more pop culture references can I make? Not that any of them are at all relevant to what I'm doing, but you know. Feels good to use the to use those invulnerability frames to your advantage, doesn't it? In this case, I valued quick kill over, over safety. 
That might not always be the right answer, but this time it was. Alright, I'm gonna have to reevaluate Spiral Rumblers. I... When, when I first, when the spell first got released into the game, I was thinking, okay, but is it, but is it any good? Like, does it do a good amount of damage? But damage isn't necessarily what you're looking for out of this spell. It's got this interesting thing that it does, where it pushes pushes enemies with an interesting amount of knockback, and then and then it just keeps pushing them. So it's just continuously really, it's just continuously hit stunning people. So it's really good for triggering on hit effects. It's real okay. It's really good for stunning enemies, which makes it good for control. Like I think I may have gone about evaluating this one wrong. Like my head cannon was that it had to be it, it had to be good at killing. Hey, come over here. Thank you. It's also really good at setting off those stupid nitroglycerin barrels. Very adoption. Okay, we'll grab that. Oh, hi, Taffy. How are you? Mmm. You know, I was gonna stick with the engulfing fissure, but it's hard to turn down that level of strength. Where am I going? I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. I just ran. I ran so far away. All right. Well, I thought there might have been one more battle room up there. Could have taken a little bit more money with me. All right. Let's grab the helm. Yeah, it looks good. And we're off. Kind of. We still have to fight a boss. No thanks, I don't want that. Now watch me put myself directly into a situation where I could have used it and my brain was just like, What? We're doing fine. We don't need to worry about having a revival on hand. When, which is when the oracles come by and tell me that I've chosen poorly. And that's an Indiana Jones reference. We're, we're just working in all the references. Okay, you guys are making me upset now. Oh, as far as why I'm pointing out all of my references when I don't normally do that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any better explanation for it than you do. Wait for cooldown. Right, cool. There are things here that I like, but I'm trying to avoid water because the twins are going to resist it. And as much as I love Tracer Barrage, I kind of like what I already have.
Also, I love how when you signature cast the the airborne slam, you have like 45 years of invulnerability frames. Dark Sage, are you being hyperbolic again? No! But anyone who says no like that means yes. Why did I do that? So for some reason I had knives on the brain, I was like, I better get him with this while I have a chance. And afterwards my brain was like, no, you already had them, what the hell are you doing? I think I explained it best in one of my last videos. Sometimes you don't just want to win, you want to obliterate. You want your competition to feel bad for even trying to challenge you. And then you take a strange, unnecessary loop. Actually, this is probably the right choice. And then I could have used the green portal, but nah, it's too easy. Oh wait, no, there's a reason why I wanted to come here. Hang on. And... I guess we'll see what she gives me. Critical placebos. You know what? I like it better than that. Give me my merchant's cart back. Like, I understand... Understrand? Wow. I'm... My ability to talk is apparently limited by... <clears throat> where my brain is going. But yeah, I understand why the relic flew off like that. It's my brain just went, oh, the monster under the bed must need to borrow my merchant's card. It must be moving. I am just not not being very smart. I think I took the wrong... I was going to take the critical placebos. And I did. I took that. Okay. Why am I still poisoning things? And you guys noticed that, right? They were poisoned. That, was, that wasn't just me. What was poisoning them? I don't have the mushroom anymore, nor do I have anything that can poison. What, what poisoned them? Okay, how many more times am I going to get my... Or am I going to get my... Wait, what? God damn lotus. No, it's not the it's not the Lotus Frost Stone's fault, it's just that these stupid macho ghouls. <clears throat> yeah, freezing them is actually just genuinely the wrong choice.
Perfect. Thanks up button. That was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, I mean, Ancient Fountain Pen is a little late for you now, isn't it? Um, hmm. Okay, I think we've I think we've got it all figured out now. Yeah, baby. That's what you get. You get. <clears throat> you get jumped on like 30 times as if we were playing Super Mario Brothers. Ah, nuts. Hey, cast spells. Yeah, dash arcana kill. Oh, that was fun. Just taking advantage of airborne slam and everything that it does well. But yeah, actually the real surprise here for me was spiral rumblers. Like I I wrote that I wrote that one off so bad and then today as I'm looking for a control method, my brain goes, "Hey, that does control." And then the other side of my brain went, really? I thought that was supposed to be a, I thought that was supposed to be for damage. And my other, the other side of my brain said, nah, bro, give it a shot. And, and why, why is my, why is the left side of my brain Cheech Marin? I have a lot of things to think about, but I'm going to leave the, leave you guys on that. I really feel like I played a good round here. And I hope you guys decide to try out Spiral Rumblers as a control method. I hope you try out Airborne Slam as a signature. It actually was really fun to work with. I, of course, thank you for coming and spending some of your free time here with me today. It really means a lot to me. I hope you have a fantastic day or night wherever you may happen to be. Yes, do look forward to my How to Build series. I'm putting a lot of effort into it and I think you'll enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and you take care, everybody. <laughs>